This is a sample of what you can do with an Articulate Rise build to make it look more unique and more visually appealing by using custom, custom bespoke graphics. So here we've created a custom banner that can go up the top of each page. So this is just a full width image and we use it as a banner. So this is a custom graphic that I've created in Adobe Illustrator. Using the theme color for titles and even the secondary color for titles is a really great way to break up large blocks of text. Custom graphics for the flip cards or the flashcards rather than using text on the front, text on the back or a solid image on the front. Using Illustrator or something like Canva, you can actually create what you want it to say on the front. Um, just remembering about alt text if you do decide to have any text written on the front. So these are just the flip cards that I've created and then the text is on the back. Always going back and checking that the text actually fits on the flip card and that we're not losing text and it has to be scrolled because then it becomes less accessible. Custom graphics like this, so again using the theme color, there's a lot of really great free custom graphics out there that you can use as part of a commercial or a personal project. Shutterstock has heaps of them, these ones in particular are from Undraw. You can add your theme color to it, it downloads it as an SVG and then you use that SVG uploaded into Rise. So this is where it can get quite cool. So here is what I would use a joiner to sort of sandwich each part of a block of text. Uh, so this just breaks out a section and makes it look a little bit more interesting. I always put a graphic on there just to let people know what they actually need to do with this interaction. This top section here is a graphic. This is all part of Rise. The background color has just been added. And then down the bottom, this is also a joiner. Up the top here, the padding at the bottom is zero and the padding at the top here is zero. So that way it sandwiches with the content above it. Again, we're using the secondary color. This is the labeled graphic. And again, we're using information at the bar at, above it to really guide the learner on what they should be doing with the interaction, not just assuming they would understand what they need to click or do. So we're seeing this consistently then be applied through every single page. So the learner realizes that they're still within the same course. Um, a really cool thing that Rise has done now is that it doesn't just default your accordions or tabs to be white on a background. You can choose if you do not want white and then it becomes this um, shade of a version of the color that you're using behind it. So this is using the, the blue background and it, as a result it's come through as a really dark blue which I really like. Um, so here's some more of the Undraw vector graphics being used. And then on the final page, we've got another banner and we're using custom graphics here. So um, this has been masked into a shape and then we've added graphics on top of it just so it blends in really nicely with the rest of the, the build. We've used this same um, block for tabs. So this one does have the white background on it and just because it has the graphics that need to stand out. You can also then mix it up by having an accordion that doesn't have the background, so it's not always looking at lots of blocks. Adding extra little interactivities like a graph or a pie chart, a really great way to show statistics. And then again, using this same block to have an ending statement. So that's how you can really jazzy up the rise build to add graphics in there and make it a really nice visually appealing piece of learning for the learner.